If human beings are born fallen, that is, born with a predisposition to sin, how can we be held responsible for our sins? You may be wondering, since uh, we are fallen from birth, morally fallen, do we really have moral freedom if that's the case? And this depends entirely on what you mean by moral freedom. And in a lot of these challenges, uh, definitions are critical, okay? So there's two concepts of moral freedom that we might work with here. And one of the concepts of freedom is just the idea that you can do one thing, but you could have done something else. If for every instance in which people do something evil, they could have avoided doing it, then what does it mean to say that they are fallen? If human beings are born sinful, then what does it mean to say that sin is avoidable? If you wanted to. In other words, you have the ability to do something else. Philosophers call this the CDO condition, could have done otherwise, okay? If you wanted to is an important caveat here. Because even if you can do what you want, as Schopenhauer says, you can't want what you want. And according to the Bible, even wanting something you are not supposed to is a sin. If you are born with sinful wants, how can you be morally free? Now, when it comes to our moral behavior, um, Gee, it seems like in most cases, when we do something bad, we could have done otherwise. Let's suppose there were a person who always did and wanted good things and never committed a sin. There could be such a person, could there not? Could that person be said to have a sinful nature or be fallen? Such a person would be indistinguishable from a non-fallen person who did not have a sinful nature. It seems to me that one can only meaningfully say that a person has a sinful nature if they actually commit sins. We could have done the right thing, and this is why well, we punish criminals and why we spank our kids, because... We could, they could have done otherwise, and, and they should have done otherwise, and so their punishment or discipline or direction is appropriate, okay? First of all, competent parents don't spank their kids. Secondly, if this is the rationale behind punishment, it is a silly one. We shouldn't punish people because they could have done otherwise. Non-compensatory punishment is useless for correcting past crimes. Rather, the point of such punishment should be to incentivize people not to commit crimes in the future. If we don't infer that non-compensatory punishment has some deterministic causal influence over behavior, such punishment is pointless. So, we do have freedom in that sense, although it is not the case that in every circumstance we are able or going to, maybe that's a better way of putting it, we are going to choose the good. And it's not because of kind of native physical inability, but it's because our wills are tainted by the fall. What's the difference? If we will not do good because our wills are tainted by the fall, then the only sense in which we could do otherwise is if we had never been fallen. Since even having certain desires is sinful, having a tainted will is itself a sin. We will not do good. We consistently choose the bad. So we have here a doctrine of moral freedom that makes us responsible because we could have done otherwise, yet at the same time we will not in many cases, which makes us responsible for our sins. Now there's another sense of uh, moral freedom that I think it's important to keep in mind because when you think about the could have done otherwise moral requirement, it doesn't seem like God satisfies that requirement because God is perfectly good, isn't he? And he can't sin. It is not in his nature to sin. He can do whatever he wants and everything he wants to do is good, okay? So God doesn't satisfy that requirement. He does not have that kind of moral freedom. Then what do Christians mean when they say that he is omnipotent? It seems to me he has a different kind of moral freedom. He has the freedom that is the ability to always do what's right. Is that a freedom that we don't have? Because if we don't have the freedom to always do what's right, how can we be held responsible for not always doing what's right? The ability to always do what's right, one might argue, is a superior kind of freedom, okay? Um, because it is the freedom from sinning. That's the kind of freedom that God seems to have. He can do good, he always does good, he can never sin, that's a good thing. And in my view at least, that's the kind of moral freedom we'll have when we get into heaven. When we see him, we shall be like him because we will see him as he is. And frankly, that's the kind of moral freedom I want. I don't want this kind of moral freedom when I could have done otherwise, I could sin, 
I want to be done with that. If that's a better moral freedom, then why did this supposedly all-powerful, all-loving God not give us that kind of freedom to begin with instead of giving us the freedom to sin? To everyone who helps me out on Patreon, you're a big help. Thanks so much.